from Fred Phelps to the Kinsey Six. The best of the best from Central Kansas and beyond. We do it all. We are KJag Radio and the Jiggy Jaguar Radio Show. Log on to JiggyJaguar.com and KJagRadio.com for more. We're on KJagRadio.com. We're out here at the Cotillion Ballroom in the great city of Wichita, Kansas. I'm Jiggy Jag, Jignasius Jag Wyatt, and uh, I've got the band Red with me, so I'm going to get the heck out of the way and let the people with talent talk. Gentlemen, introduce yourselves. What's up? Red. Red. I'm Michael. I'm Joe. I'm Anthony. I'm Randy. And talk to me a little bit about your musical influences to make the sound that you guys make. We, uh, we would say anybody that, uh, you know, has just a great, um, you know, live show, um, you know, bands like Chevelle or Lincoln Park, Muse, um, you know, we take influences from classical music, a lot of things like that, so, yeah. you know, anybody that has just a, a great sonic sound, you know, what I would say would Influences. That's cool. Now, uh, talk to me a little bit about the history of the band. I know that uh, it's it's an interesting story. The three of us grew up together, Randy and I are twins, and uh, we grew up in a small town uh, in Pennsylvania. The three of us known each other since third grade. We uh, started doing music probably when we were high schoolish. Sometime like, we just kind of formed a band. We were sixteen-ish around there. And moved to Nashville. We all graduated college and. Um, pursued a music career. It took about five years after we moved to Nashville, but we finally signed a record deal. We met Joe, and we formed Red, and started writing songs in, a, in an, our apartment. We all moved in together, and, and uh, here we are. It was it's a painstaking process, but we started from the ground up. <laughs> well, talk to me about the hardest lesson that you guys have ever had to learn in the studio. Hardest lesson? That we're not as good as we think we are? <laughs> the hardest lesson in the studio? Um, and there's never enough time. Yeah, I think uh, you get in there and your, your your musical talent, your abilities are put to the test because in the studio um, you gotta you know be as as tight a player as you can possibly be to make sure that the songs are you know performed you know well and you know good enough to be on a record kind of thing. And then, uh, yeah. But on a live you know live setting you know you obviously try to pull that off every night, but uh, in the studio there's a there's a bit of a click element there that you have to stick to and. Uh, you, you do passes over and over and over again. So get to the studios. You learn about, a lot about your abilities and a lot about your playing. So that makes you push yourself cool. better and better. Now talk to me a little bit about the worst gig that you guys have ever had. I'm sure there's a. I'm sure there's worst a story. Gig, worst gig would be the gig we didn't have. Um, walked into a venue in Indianapolis. Probably the worst conditions for any band. I don't care who it is. You just wow. start yesterday in your backyard as the worst venue we've ever seen. Um, I mean, there's literally piles of human feces. Whoa. It's just piled on top of the toilet and the bathroom. There was garbage on the stage. Foot and a half deep garbage on the sides of the stage. Um, oh, I didn't even walk into the venue. That's yeah, how bad the PA it was. was, I mean, <laughs> homeless guy sleeping in the back in the back room. Yeah, that kind of place you felt like, you probably feel like oh, yeah. you would have gotten yeah. syphilis, you know, or some kind of <laughs> form of AIDS just being in the building. So uh, needless to say, we canceled the show and, and just packed up and left. Yeah. So the show never happened. That was the worst, I think, incident we've ever had on the road. What, what else happened after that with that show? Oh, yeah, we got death we got threats. Death threats. They're they're to us. People tell us who we were. That's always nice. Those people better hope we never see them again. That's they must <laughs> really love our music. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, talk to me a little bit about social networking. How involved are you guys with that, with Twitter and Facebook and everything with your fans? Red launched on social networks. I mean, yeah. we were coming up, and MySpace was huge, and it was a free a free opportunity for us to put ourselves out there without having to pay for a website, you know, licensing and all that stuff. You know, we put ourselves on MySpace, and we were on there every single day, adding friends and talking to fans. And uh, we had never had we never toured before, so we didn't have a fan base, and nobody knew who we were. So we had a lot of legwork, you know, in front of us with you know building that fan base. And we started yeah. MySpace, made the transition to Facebook, and then. So that's kind of, I think we were kind of in our heyday when Facebook came around. Most bands, most bands don't run their websites, we, we run our websites, we always have, yeah. we will. It's just the, it's the best way for us to connect with our fans and uh, we have weekly interaction on Facebook with uh, anybody that wants it. So uh, we make ourselves as available as we possibly can, especially when we're on the road. So, well, talk, to, talk to me a little bit about this tour. Uh, 
the Red Revolution Tour. I, I love that. You guys have some great bands on the bill. I was looking at the stage setup earlier. That's just incredible. Talk to me a little bit about this tour. Something we want to we want to do as a band, as an annual thing, make it make it a you know like Project Revolution or something. We want Revolution yeah. to be you know um, a, a tour that we do every year. Pick a different group of bands and take out you know a huge production and, and uh, just go from coast to coast. You know we're playing. We started on the east side. We, we uh, slowly made our way here out west, and now we're heading back to the central part of America. But um, yeah, we're pretty excited about it. It was uh, something that actually Randy came up with. It's the name of the tour and kind of the idea behind it and uh, what we wanted to do. It's been looking for an uh, annual tour that has a great rock package, and uh, yeah. we've seen a tremendous uh, response this year already, and we couldn't be happier with, I mean, the turnout's been some of the largest headlining shows we've done as a band in the first five years of our career on this tour. So um, I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna catch on next year. We'll see what, what happens. We might do a fall leg also, but uh, we intend on it being an annual thing for sure. That's cool. Now talk to me about until we have faces. Oh, what do we say? <laughs> it's our third record. It's our third uh, uh, It's a record we did. Um, wrote a lot of songs about uh, finding our identity, um, you know, as individuals. We, uh, like I said, we talk a lot to our fans on, on Facebook and and uh, MySpace and you name it, and a lot of people are reaching out, wondering what, the, what it is that they're going to do with their life, and, and uh, you know, we put out a post early on in the recording process uh, wanting to know what our fans want to hear songs about, so we really wanted to dive in on this record and do one for, um, you know, our fans that are out and uh, yeah. the whole record itself is about is about the struggle to find your identity and, and uh, being comfortable with who you are and you guys uh, the first two albums earned uh, earned you guys some Grammy nominations for best rock gospel album where were you when you got that news the first time that you guys heard, have been nominated for a Grammy the first time we heard we were nominated was in Arkansas right Little Rock Arkansas yeah. 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 we woke up off. we woke up in a Roach Hotel one morning <laughs> after a uh, all night drive and, and uh, headed to the, uh, the venue we were playing that day and our manager called us and the first thing he asked was um, how does it feel to be Grammy nominated of course we didn't believe him um, and uh, that was pretty awesome we got to go and be at the award ceremony and, and, uh, and then it happened again on the second record and uh, you know again we weren't expecting it we got to go to the awards and stuff it was it's a tremendous honor to be even nominated for a Grammy. It's it's very very difficult to be nominated. Yeah. So we took it as you know a sign of, of uh, I guess much uh, I guess respect and, and um, from the you know, people that vote for Grammys are people that that live inside the music industry. You know that's yeah. what they do. And to be nominated for that kind of an honor. Cool stuff. Well, let's wrap up with one. Thanks for doing this, by the way. I know you guys are taking immense time out of your schedule for this. But uh, talk to me a little bit about who we are. Who we are is our current single. Yep. Uh, it's a song that we all got into a room to do for the first time um, on our, in our first two records. We never actually sat down in a room together as a band and wrote the, the lyrics to a song. It's usually, you know, one or two guys in this room two guys in a different state, whatever, but yeah. um, that was one of the things I remember about the recording process of this song, and, and uh, we didn't know if it was going to make the record, we thought it was a little, uh, I don't know, box. yeah, a little bit outside of, of <laughs> the realm of what we like to call a red record, and uh, but we thought, well, it'd be a really great song live, and uh, that's, you know, exactly what we, uh, we've experienced is, you know, we play that song, it's, it's a really good, really good uh, song for an audience. They just, you know, it's a lot of fun to play and uh, you know, they really respond to it. So, um, released it as a single and uh, we've been playing it all since. It's almost the title time. track of the record without being the title track, too. Yeah. You know, that's that's what, yeah. the, what the record's talking about is, you know, just, you know, discovering your true identity and who you truly are and uh, being comfortable with that. And, yeah, just being comfortable. Yeah. Cool stuff. Well, thank you, gentlemen. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for doing this. And, uh, check out what well, what's the best spot to check you guys out twitter facebook website uh, you can get to uh, all of our online properties by going to redmusiconline.com 
you know, Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff. You can go yeah, there's there. all the direct links to that yeah. stuff there. Yeah. Cool stuff. Cool. Well, thank you, gentlemen. Thanks, thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Yeah. Appreciate and it, uh, looking forward to the show tonight. Yeah, cool. Those, yeah. uh, thanks, man. You got a heck of a stage show. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching.